Hello people, in this video we want to look at varicose seal. So varicose seal, what exactly is it? Look at this photo. What do you see here? The testis. And there is some plexus here around the spermatic cord. And here the venous plexus seem to have some stasis. Right? Veins. Veins are having some stasis of blood. So what would happen if this happens? Here there could be increase in temperature, right? And a swelling, basically a swelling the person can notice here, isn't it? So that is much uh, what we are able to guess. But considering that if, the, if there is a swelling here and there is an increased temperature here, there could be infertility, isn't it? Because the whole point of that anatomy is to keep the uh, testis cool. So let's get started. What is varicocele? It is a condition of the dilatation and torticity of the pampiniform plexus of veins of the spermatic cord. So there are some pampiniform plexus of uh, the uh, spermatic cord. These are having dilatation and torticity. Okay. So it is what is dilated? The which veins exactly? The pampiniform plexus of veins of the spermatic cord. Okay. Let us look at this uh, image here to understand this pampiniform plexus. See, normally we only show right side anatomy, okay? But here we are showing you the left side because uh, left side is more common so you understand this, okay? So here you can see the testis, right? And uh, you can see uh, the veins it is draining to. So let's take a better color here because it is deoxygenated blood that drains, right? So all the uh, 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 blood is draining into pampiniform plexus which then drains into the testicular vein. Now the testicular vein drains into the left renal vein, right? And here there is one left suprarenal vein. Okay, so all of these are draining like this. The kidney is draining here, the testis is draining here and uh, suprarenal structures are draining here, is it? All these structures are draining. Here, finally where are they draining into? Into the inferior vena cava. Please show this diagram again. Yeah, see, finally it is draining into the inferior vena cava. From inferior vena cava, where it will go? To the heart. Okay. So, it is more common on the left side. These uh, varicose seals are more common on the left side. That is why here they have shown you the left side anatomy. This side they have shown you the right testicular vein. It is going in a slightly different angle. Uh, it is directly going here, right? But the left side it is connecting to the left renal vein. Okay, finally you understood it goes where? To the inferior vena cava which drains into the heart right so um, look at this uh, basically understand some anatomy here the uh, pampiniform plexus are what they are a group of veins that uh, uh, drain the testis the epididymis vas difference and the cremastic muscle it drains what and all the testis the epididymis vas difference and the cremaster muscle so basically initially you can see that there are around uh, 15 to 25 uh, um, in number then it reduces to 12 then it reduces um, at the level of superficial inguinal ring it becomes around 4 to 5 they are saying yeah they have shown 4 here and then it becomes around 2 at the deep inguinal ring and then it is uh, going to join to form a single vein okay on the right side ends at the inferior vena cava right side directly ends at the inferior vena cava right it ends obliquely and the left side ends at the left renal vein at a right angle see here this is what is the clue i'm thinking so this is the oblique and here it is 90 degree the draining okay so at uh, near the termination of the testicular vein there is a valve okay there is a valve also. valve also is present they are saying on the left side, okay, there is a valve. Right side, they are saying it is that draining into the IVC directly. They did not speak of a valve. But the left side, they are talking that there is a valve, okay. And it drains at what? At right angles. Into the what? Into the left renal vein. So, guys, we are done with what exactly va varicose seal is. Basically, understand that it is an example of varicose vein. So, if this is a vein, a vein becomes dilated and tortuous like this. It's dilated and tortuous and elongated also. This is a varicose vein. Okay, so what is varicose vein? A dilated, tortuous, elongated vein is the torch, uh, varicose vein. So varicose seal is the same varicose vein, okay, but at which location? On the spermatic cord, okay. So varicose seal definition is here, which you have already seen, the dilation, tortuosity, and you can say elong elongation, is it, of the pampiniform plexus of veins in the sperm, of the spermatic cord, okay. People, now let us look at the causes of varicose seal. So it is um, 
common on left side than right side okay that we understand but why does varicocele at all happen okay there could be a absence of valves okay congenital absence of valves so look at this photo here guys look at this photo here basically guys here they are shown the left vein and here they are showing you the right vein okay this is gonadal vein in males you can say testicular vein so basically uh, as you can see the left one is going higher up right and it is insert it is uh, draining into the left renal vein yes and here this one is directly draining into the inferior vena cava now what they are saying is uh, these uh, uh, veins may have absent valves because of absent valve what will happen uh, the valve the job of the valve was to prevent backflow isn't it so job of the valve was to prevent this backflow but now if there is no valve what can happen there can be backflow backflow can happen and because the left one is kind of higher up right it has to it has to drain like this right it has to go longer and drain so uh, it is more possible that the left one can have backflow right so that's why on the left side it is more common so in etiology of varicocele guys they are saying congenital absence of valves okay renal cell carcinoma invading the renal veins so these are the two things that you will say the other thing is it is common on left side because the left has to uh, go higher right and uh, there will be more pressure so varicocele is more common on the left but otherwise they are asking you the causes the cause is congenital absence of valves and renal cell carcinoma so renal cell carcinoma i am guessing on the same side so if there is carcinoma of this kidney it can happen that there can be a left varicocele for this man okay so a varicocele can indicate a um, renal cell carcinoma that is invading the veins it is invading the veins that is why he has a varicocele on the same side okay so uh, there is something uh, called as primary and secondary varicocele guys look at the uh, causes of primary varicocele uh, it is caused because of increased venous pressure in the left renal vein right in increased pressure in the left renal vein and then incompetent valves of the testicular vein okay incompetent valves or the pressure is more okay the other thing is at uh, secondary secondary is because of tumor of the kidney so secondary is where it is because of something else some other reason right not exactly the vein so they are telling here that it can be because of a retroperitoneal tumor or kidney or tumor okay so this will be the secondary varicocele so when you are looking at the causes of varicocele go back to that initial slide where you saw the um, causes so these two will be primary and this one will be secondary okay where you are talking about the renal cell carcinoma or the retroperitoneal uh, carcinoma something behind the peritoneum there is a tumor not carcinoma they are saying tumor retroperitoneal tumor so that is that's what will lead to this varicocele okay so you have understood the causes now why is it more on left side we already told you the it will have drain at what it will drain at a right angle the left side it is draining at right angle so if this is the left renal uh, vein the left ren uh, testicular artery is draining at a right angle it has to go more up so it is more cranial there is more pressure it that it is draining against there can be absence of valve or the valve can be weak here and uh, on the left side you have the colon uh, which can be putting pressure on it okay then what else are they saying here that uh, there could be a loaded pelvic colon okay and then they are saying that there uh, there may be uh, this uh, renal vein may be sandwiched between the aorta and the superior mesenteric artery so where is the aorta aorta is here in red see you see the aorta is also more on the left side right so the aorta and the mesenteric vein which is shown here where okay that can be squeezing the left renal vein okay so this left vein renal vein you can see here this is the left renal vein guys can you see here this is the left renal vein you can see a lot of people are there around it like the aorta the left mesenteric vein etc guys what are we looking at why is varicocele common on the left side because the left renal vein may be sandwiched between the abdominal aorta and the superior mesenteric artery so this compression on the left renal vein may lead to the increased pressure right so the left testicular vein will have to drain into a high pressure system so there can be stasis of the blood in the vein then coming to the other reason here left testicular artery guys left testicular artery may arch over the left renal vein where is this testicular artery the left testicular artery 
see here they have shown here the left testicular artery which is uh, will show in which color let's use a yellow see here the left testicular artery here it can arch over the left uh, testicular vein okay so this artery can go uh, and arch over the left renal vein and may cause compression of the renal vein and the testicular vein both of them and it can lead to varicocele so so where is that left testicular artery here this left testicular artery can arch over this left uh, renal vein and this left testicular vein over two things it can arch so it can arch over the left renal vein and the left testicular vein and it can compress uh, these two is it so is that the word they are using and it can compress yes okay then carcinoma of left kidney may grow along the renal vein so this we have seen but is this the carcinoma always more on the left or something no right then why is it here in carcinoma of left kidney the tumor may grow along the renal vein yeah, obviously but i don't think this is more because of left but left is more of anatomy that is causing this uh, varicocele okay now let us move on guys so you have understood the etiology of uh, varicocele can you say renal cell renal cell carcinoma A retroperitoneal, retroperitoneal tumor. tumor. Yeah. So those two things are the cause for secondary varicocele. Okay. Can you say secondary? Secondary varicocele. Varicocele. Okay. Okay. So people, now let us move on to the clinical features of varicocele. So what will uh, this be? So usually it is in uh, thin, tall patients. It seems tall. I can understand because uh, it has to drain against gravity. Is it tall people? so it is uh, again hot climates they are saying will develop varicocele people who are in standing position right so they'll always have to drain against gravity just like your varicose veins right same story like how you have varicose veins in the legs so uh, if they are in standing position <clears throat> they have to always drain against gravity right so long standing people like policemen security teachers uh, especially security i feel um, and uh, policemen who else <clears throat> those kind of people okay then um, um look at this there it will feel like a bag of worms the testis that area will feel like a bag of worms does is that how it is looking like a bag of worms inside but outside also because of the tortuosity you know like of the veins so the vein will be like this so tortuous and dilated and elongated that it will look like a worm bag of worms is it and that too there are it's not just one vein right there are like so many veins in those plexus we said right 15 to 25 uh, in 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 one level so it will look like a bag of worms <clears throat> okay then when you ask the patient to cough there will be fluid trail because it is full of blood isn't it and then uh, so guys on the side of the varicocele what will happen the a uh, scrotum will be slightly lower right so the scrotum will be at a lower level on the side that is affected there is only one scrotum by the way right there is one scrotum only in which there are two testes isn't it so on the side that is affected the scrotum will appear lower right so that's what uh, they are saying on asking the patient to lie down it is ir uh, sorry it is reducible this this can give you a kind of a feel of a um, hernia because here they are saying that there is cough and fluid thrill cough will have fluid thrill it is reducible it disappears if he lies down this happens because the venous drainage happens right so if it is like this there is stasis of blood right now let us say he lies down what happens when he lies down this was supposed to drain against gravity so now he has lied down so the blood is draining so it drains and then uh, it will reduce the varicosity of the vein will reduce right because it drains into the heart into the inferior vena cava from there to the heart then there is dragging pain in the scrotum which is a feature okay there is a dragging pain look at this there is pain that is non tender this is a very interesting phenomenon now if there is pain you will think there is tenderness but here there is a dragging pain but it is non tender tender means what if you if you examine if you touch it there is no actual pain but the patient will complain of a dragging pain okay the testis may appear small and soft with diminished testicular sensation the testis will appear small and soft because what is looking big and nice the veins okay blow test on blowing that is the valsalva maneuver if he does you can feel a fluid thrill okay let's see a valsalva maneuver photo so uh, this is the valsalva maneuver 
so on blowing the fluid thrill may be felt okay so uh, even little increase in size all those varicose cities looks like so all these are clinical features so you have to differentiate the symptoms from the signs symptom will be something like this dragging pain then a swelling there right all these blow test and all these are signs right the doctor will ask you to do or the doctor will observe something like non tenderness is a sign okay then you will get ultrasound and you will see that there are veins which are 3.5 mm or more in diameter with reversal of venous flow after the valsalva maneuver that's it what is this so when he does uh, valsalva there is a reversal of venous flow venous flow will be something like this isn't it so there's a reversal is it so what did we finish guys we finished the causes we finished the um, clinical features now let us go to the differentials of varicocele basically you can think that it is a hernia inguinal hernia right something that is coming via the inguinal canal right into this uh, scrotum so it can be a hernia uh, so you should differentiate from it a congenital hydrocele so hydrocele is what uh, fluid accumulation because in the tunica vaginal is it so uh, fluid accumulation or is it a uh, venous stasis so you should differentiate that encysted hydrocele of the cord encysted hydrocele is something like this right something like here it only this part will be uh, having the uh, hydrocele okay guys so here you can see this is the encysted hydrocele of the cord see only in this part otherwise it is narrow only only here there seems to be some space for the fluid to accumulate so that is the encysted hydrocele here they are showing you the inguinal hernia the images are not very clear guys so anyways this is the inguinal hernia you can see via the uh, canal it is coming here right via the inguinal canal is it or in the area in the inguinal area there is a hernia where the contents of the body are going out okay then lipoma of the cord so the cord has not actually uh, having varicosity there is some other growth here that is the lipoma that is uh, fat kind of a growth right so that could be a lipoma then epididymal cyst so where is that epididymis here epididymal cyst can be there vaginal hydrocele vaginal hydrocele is what the tunica vagina is it that vaginal hydrocele is actually the most common primary hydrocele okay so uh, there will be collection of uh, this uh, sterile fluid between the uh, layers of the tunica vaginalis okay so basically in vaginal hydrocele between the tunica vaginalis layers encysted hydrocele will be of the cord congenital hydrocele etc etc so many hydrocele they have written here lipoma of the cord epididymal cyst inguinal hernia so all these are the differentials that you will write for varicocele okay how can you differentiate an inguinal hernia and a varicocele i am thinking varicocele if he lies down it will uh, reduce okay otherwise ultrasound guys what do you think look at this <clears throat> what <clears throat> what ancillary investigation is helpful for the confirmation of the diagnosis of varicocele so now we want to confirm that it is a varicocele what diagnosis of, uh, will you need you will need a color doppler only when you can do a color doppler you can know the blood flow pattern etc isn't it and then you can see that there is a vein which is of greater than 3 mm in diameter right all this you can do and whenever you do a valsalva <clears throat> you can see the enlargement of veins right on standing or a reflex on valsalva if he sleeps the enlargement of veins will reduce so the, especially you should talk about color doppler in study then only you will be able to say that it is a blood flow etc okay so you understood now uh, grading of varicocele guys now let's move on to grading of varicocele so basically um, palpable only with valsalva is uh, small palpable without valsalva also you can palpate is a modern sorry moderate and visible through <coughs> scrotal skin like a bag of worms like we told you right and that would be large so basically this is visible this is palpable <coughs> So this one moderate is palpable without valsalva. Small is palpable with valsalva only. So oh, where do you need valsalva? Here, the first one. You need valsalva for the small one. Okay. So basically, it uh, if it is visible through scrotal skin, 
then it is large but we can't show you this image because it will cause privacy issues private parts okay now let us go to um, grading again here they are talking about grading is it what is this small varicocele palpable only when the perform uh, when they do well salva palpable not visible remember it's only palpable okay and second one is moderate palpable without well salva palpable it is not visible remember it's palpable okay and then uh, lastly grade 3 is large varicocele visible through scrotal skin same thing only we told again okay now let us move on to the complications of varicocele what can happen if there is varicocele what what are the problems so basically here we told you in the beginning of the video itself the heat will be more because of this blood stasis right so that person can have oligospermia so he can have infertility isn't it oligospermia is the major but significant complication okay now why do the complications occur venous congestion increased temperature okay then are you focusing guys what are we looking at varicocele complications very good so then um, a reflux of the blood that brings powerful hormones okay so that powerful hormones can suppress spermatogenesis hydrocele can happen due to ligation of lymphatic vessel so lymphatic vessel is affected so there is no proper drainage i'm thinking because of all the pressure of these veins i'm thinking so we if lymphatic drainage won't happen and that can lead to accumulation of fluid hydrocele and then another complication of varicocele is it can recur just like varicose veins isn't it so people now that we have finished all this uh, complication one more slide is there here um, what happens to the functioning of the testicles look at this hyperthermia abnormal elevation of the microvascular blood flow it will deplete the intracellular glycogen store there can be testicular parenchymal injury hypoxia can happen testicular hormonal imbalance like we told you hormonal imbalance so this can cause this um, may be caused by diminished intratesticular testosterone then what else are they seeing here decreased spermatogenesis maturation arrest tubular thickening okay so all these are the problems because of varicocele so now you can understand why it leads to infertility not just about the temperature it's about the hormones hormonal imbalance hypoxia uh, depletes the intracellular glycogen store okay it injure uh, there's parenchymal injury there is a decrease spermatogenesis maturation arrest tubular thickening okay now what happens to the testicular volume there is loss of testicular volume that's why it appears small or something the testis not the overall thing okay guys so we have looked at some complications of varicocele now let's move on Yes, now we are moving on to the treatment of varicocele, guys. So uh, you have understood how to diagnose it. You need to do a color Doppler, etc., right? And you'll do a Valsalva, so many things. Uh, uh, now let us see which needs treatment. So grade one, which is palpable only on Valsalva, that does not need treatment. Grade two, grade three will need treatment when it is associated with subfertility or infertility, or if there is a testicular volume loss greater than two mL in comparison to the normal size. okay then if there is pain and discomfort or if there is a cosmetic problem if the patient is wanting to fix it okay so basically the, those are the reasons for treatment now let us move on to the treatment so basically what are the treatments guys look at this inguinal approach excision of the pampiniform plexus ligating retroperitoneal approach this is the pelomos operation this is important pelomos operation we will look at this in detail So when do you do the Palomo operation? Can you say Palomo? Palomo. Palomo varicocele. Varicocele. Palomo varicocele. Varicocele. Yeah. So Palomo is for varicocele. Okay. So uh, let's look at that in detail. Then you have the microscopic varicocelectomy. See here, varicocelectomy. So 
this is subinguinal so they are telling approaches only inguinal approach retroperitoneal approach subinguinal varicocelectomy so are these surgeries surgeries actually useful so basically you can see here that uh, you can prevent the stagnation of blood the spermatogenesis can happen right so let us say this person wants to uh, get pregnant the couple so the testicular volume also may return to normal so if they are concerned about the test size etc right so we told you that uh, you will consider surgery so basically you are doing three things inguinal approach ligating uh, pampaniform plexus etc paloma operation which we will look at uh, it's a retroperitoneal approach we'll look at this so then you have the subinguinal microscopic varicocelectomy for complete ligation now let us move on to the last slide in this uh, guys palomos operation what is this palomos palomos operation so what do they do here so they're just ligating the testicular vein guys as simple as that so this is the testicular vein they are ligating here they're tying it so then how will the drainage happen Ve venous drainage so that will happen through the cremastic vein okay so the venous drainage will be maintained by the anastomosis of the pampiniform plexus with the cremastic veins and um, and the veins that drain the vas okay so it will happen via the cremastic vein so this is what you have to remember this cremastic vein actually uh, it provides an alternate path of venous drainage from the testis right there is a communication between the cremastic veins and the veins which are draining the vas okay so this will help uh, uh, as an alternate path so they will start using the alternate path we need an image to understand that alternate path let's look at this one so this is the Pampini form plexus. So they, these are gone. Now, how will this testis drain? You can see here, you have the cremastic vein here. So the cremasteric vein, they are depending on the cremastic vein to drain now. Okay. Now there is one question: What will happen if testicular artery is ligated by mistake? If you instead of draining, ligating the vein, you ligated the testicular artery. What will happen? So usually you will think there will be testicular atrophy because it will not get blood, isn't it? But this is not usually the case. They are saying that there will be anastomosis uh, with the artery to the vas. So if they don't suffer ischemic injury, it will get its supply by the way of anastomosis with the artery to the vas. Okay, so not so bad. Okay, testicular atrophy chances are twenty to thirty percent only. Not so bad, okay. That's it. So we are done with this topic. Varicose seal. We looked at everything about it. From okay, there's a case here. Let's look at this case also. So there's a 30 year old male. He has presented with swelling in the left side of the scrotum for last four years. Okay, the swelling started in the lower part of the scrotum. Subsequently, it is increasing, growing up to the root of the scrotum. The swelling disappears on lying down. This is another clue for you. It reappears appears on standing and walking. Sounds like a hernia also. Then he has dull aching pain. Uh, okay, dull aching pain. So that dragging pain or something they said, right? The pain is more towards the evening. Why is this? Because he's been standing whole day. Okay, so this gives another clue. The pain is more towards the evening. This is a clue for you. Okay, because there is venous stasis, guys. Then. The swelling enlarges in size. Okay, there is no pain abdomen, no urinary complaints at all. Now, when you examine this guy, what do you see? Let's look at that. Focus, guys. We're almost at the end. Don't worry. On examination, you will see that a mass of dilated vein, feeling like a bag of worms, palpable on the left side of the scrotum, uh, along the left spermatic cord. Okay, this makes sense. Bag of worms, give away for you. Okay, then. And this is palpable finding. It's not that it's visual, right? Then, till the superficial inguinal ring, okay. No expansile impulse on cough is palpable. This will rule out hernia. <clears throat> Very good. Instead, you will feel a thrill. Wow, they're telling you all the clues, right? A thrill is palpable, okay. On lying down and elevation of the scrotum, the swelling disappears. When you elevate, what will happen? The venous drainage will happen. So, the veins will drain. Okay, when you ask the patient to stand up again, the veins will dilate. Left testicular volume is smaller than the right one. See, the uh, uh, testicle volume is less. Okay, abdominal examination is also normal. So, what do you think in this guy is happening? 
it left isn't it left side has come with pain wait then we will switch this left side so this is the case presentation for a varicocele now you have understood everything you can directly say that it could be varicocele and then you will suggest a color doppler study ultrasound etc so this is varicocele for you bye bye